Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. In today's video, guys, we'll show you how to test a relay. This one will relate to almost any relay car relay, guys, you can think of. Okay, not very complicated procedure. You need two simple things to test it, and we'll show you what most people do wrong about it. So stand till the end to make sure you get it right. So we have a relay out of that Hyundai, guys, and we have a relay out of a Mercedes. Both of them, the procedure will be the same. So when you get a relay, guys, okay, on the bottom side now, okay, you can see numbers. Most of the relays you see, uh, you, you can have not all of them, but some, okay, you're going to have a picture of how it functions and how it's wired inside. But now, check out the numbers now, okay, we have number, uh, we have number, okay, let me just focus here, I'm trying to do it. Okay, 85, this one, number 86. So, what happens, okay, 85 and 86, this is the power lines. This is where, uh, okay, you have uh, negative and positive. It doesn't matter which way it is, for most cases. And you have current there all the time. So, those are the ones, okay, that's the wire that the relay, okay, uh, makes connection or it doesn't these two posts and their number okay 30 30 and 87 so you can see that little relay it's a different relay okay we're going to open them and show you on the inside again you have 86 85 and then you have 87 and 30 so let's open one on the inside and see what's inside first before we test it so you know what i'm talking about okay now this is guys the relay when you have current 12 volts okay positive and negative on this one okay it's going to click okay it's going to click close and uh, let me show you okay where the flap is actually okay it's right here this flap and it's going to close like that and this means that it's going to connect there will be connection between this one and this one here so okay there are two ways to check that now okay you can see that even if it's open if it opens and closes you might still have a problem and stay with us we will demonstrate on the second relay so what we are going to do okay, instead of just connecting it to a battery we have a little jump starter that will do the trick as well we're going to give 12 volt supply okay positive on this one and negative on the other one okay so let's connect it now okay and you can hear it okay you can hear it moving now let me show you now okay this one right here do you see how it opens and closes so now you can see that it's closed we're supposed to have a connection that way right so what we're going to do we'll get the voltmeter okay we can set it to ohms 2k ohms here and one is infinity now, it means that we don't have, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is no numbers, no resistance, anything. When the relay is closed, we're supposed to have close to zero, almost absolute zero. That means that there is no resistance. So, okay, let's check this thing out now. Okay, zero. Now, if we let one of the, uh, one of the cables go, watch now. The relay, okay, let me just grab this one here. Okay, goes to one, then it goes to zero. But now there is something else. Okay, let's test this relay now, here. Okay, again, uh, we're going to do 85 and 86. Okay, the same numbers. So let's connect it the same way we did before. And even though that it clicks, listen now. okay it's still clicking okay you can hear it check how we have a problem inside the relay okay it stays at one it doesn't go to zero okay so that is definitely a problem there even though it clicks something is wrong inside so that's how you guys test relays pretty much uh, almost most of the relays will be that way okay uh, it's always good to check the diagram to make sure that those are the 
ones like 85 and 86 that you give current to but most of the times this will be the order okay and 30 uh, 30 and 87 will be actually uh, the ones that uh, uh, that actually opens and closes so thank you guys for watching uh, please subscribe okay many more videos to come and see you guys next time